Hey everyone, this is Ian from the Apple Power Web Show, and this is an overview of the Studio One 19 desktop computer. First ever multi touch capable Windows all in one computer. Um, so, to start out, um, I'm going to go over some of the design features and specs, and then maybe I'll, I don't know what else I'd go. So, we'll see from that. So, start out. I'll show you a little 360 degree view of the computer. So, there we go. Okay, so 360. So, this computer can come in a range of colors. Um, as you can see, there's a black part and a red part on this computer. And the red part is interchangeable, and you can get that customized to a few different colors. And this, the main area, the black area can either be in black or white, so you can have black and red, black and blue, white and pink, that kind of stuff. So the front um, is very simple and it's very nice looking with a little 1.3 megapixel webcam on it. Um, the screen is a 1366 by 768, which is kind of a weird resolution size. Um, but not too bad. That's pretty good for an 18.9 inch wide screen, I guess. Um, so but there's a little 360. So I'm going to start with the back of the computer. There are four USB ports in Active Sync or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I think that is a. I don't even know what that is. Um, an Ethernet or what it looks to be an Ethernet, it has a weird symbol, it's not a usual Ethernet symbol. Um, and then an audio in port. So the back is pretty simple also, plastic. Uh, the whole back is plastic pretty much, as I can show you again right here. As you can see the whole back is plastic, except for, I think the stand's even plastic, it's just metallic looking. Um, Here's some. Here's an example of what you could use the touchscreen uh, capabilities for. Um, you could just paint a fish. I don't know. You can write a note. Um, there's a close-up. The red part is actually like a mesh. There's a overall view. There's an above view. So it's, as you can see, it's pretty thin for an all-in-one. Um, I think overall it looks, I don't know, a little more stylish than the iMac. Um, the fact that I, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm guessing, uh, I would doubt that they would do this is that the panel here is not glass like the iMac. That's something that Apple mainly does. Um, the whole screen is flush though, so that's nice if you don't say you buy this without the cheapest version, which is. $699, um, it doesn't have a touch screen. So, um, and since, because the screen is flush, you could technically go to one of these touch screen places online and order a custom size for this, clip it on, um, so you'd get an 18.9 inch or whatever, um, I don't know, they said 18.9 inch, uh, horizontal, so I don't know what the diagonal is for that. So, um, so say you went and ordered that, you could just stick it on there. As with mine, mine is not flush, the screen is actually kind of in into the monitor, and there's a black area surrounding it, so it would make um, it a little tougher. I guess if, if it had a ribbon cable, that wouldn't be that annoying, but whatever. Um, this is something pretty nice, the little webcam, and then, as you can see, it's just like eye chat kind of. Um, this this would be great for a Mac actually having the multi touch on here for GarageBand. This is just um, showcasing the multi multi touch application. It says the touch zone applications allow you to easily play games, finger paint, and interact with other touch capabilities. 
the whole family will enjoy. Um, what I'm wondering is how accurate this is because this, if you're a if you're into Photoshop, this might actually be something you can look into because I don't know if you can actually take off that back panel and maybe mount this onto like a flat surface facing down so you could use it almost like a tablet for Photoshop. That would be really nice. Um, here's an example of the uh, multi-touch capabilities of it. So just like a photo album. And then finally I'll go into the side and I'll show you a video after that. So here we go. It looks to be a 7-in-1 media card reader, two USB 2.0s, a headphone or line out, and then microphone or line in, and the power button. So actually I'm going to go back to the back and see what it says. So easily connect your four port, key oh, keyboard port, okay. Uh, RJ4, okay, so that's an Ethernet port. Um, and now you line out, okay. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant, the line out, not line in. So I will show you the quick little video. Okay. the little video and now I'll go over some of the tech specs. So there are four different categories um, that you can buy the computer from. The cheapest one for $700 does not have a um, touchscreen. It does have a 2.5 gigahertz processor, 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM at 800 megahertz. So that's pretty fast. 320 gigabyte hard drive, 72 RPM. Is, uh, that's good also. GeForce 9200 graphics card. I, I'm not exactly sure how good that is, but it's probably decent. Um, and then the next one up, and all the ones up from there have the touch screen, which is multi-touch. Um, which, I, I think that would be the best option to go with, just buy that. And then just up, just buy the all the stock, or the lowest end everything for the multi-touch version. Because it's it's always cheaper to go and buy something from like Otherworld Computing or whatever wherever you buy Tiger Direct, um, wherever you buy all your RAM or anything. So this one has three gigahertz DDR2, eight hundred megahertz. Um, everything is the same in these except just slightly bumped up um, processor or not process um, hard drive is the same. RAM is upgraded a little bit, graphics card is uh, upgraded, and the it's now Windows Vista Home Premium 64-bit instead of the Home Basic 32-bit. Uh, both of them are probably pretty much crappy, or pretty much crap, so just buy the stock version of this, and you should probably be set. Um, that goes for $850, and if you qualify, you could buy it for $12, $26 a month, so... That's not too bad. Um, so that wraps up my overview of the Studio One 19 desktop, the first ever Windows Media PC home all-in-one computer. Thanks for watching. Bye.